Are you ready? Hello and welcome to The Hog's Back. It's a funny nickname for the A31, but it is what it is. And right ahead of me, just over there, is Guildford Cathedral in the county of Surrey. And we're heading to Guildford to, yes, as you've probably guessed, record the organ. And what an organ it is. It's a four manual organ installed in the cathedral by Rushworth and Draper. It's fantastic for romantic music such as Rago and all of that sort of exciting stuff but also does Bach and English music extremely well. Very fortunately for us, Richard Moore, their organist, who is a phenomenal player, he's agreed to give us a private organ recital. So just like the recording Truro series, recording Guildford, I will bring you along the whole experience with me. How lucky you are. So I will show you how I'm placing the microphones, why I'm placing the microphones where I am. I've had some thoughts since Truro. I'm going to try something a bit different, so you'll have to stay tuned. Obviously, we'll give you an organ demonstration. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I'll show you all the stops. Uh, Richard Moore will do his wonderful thing on the organ and then I will bring you back into the studio at home where I'll show you how I've brought all the audio together to find that perfect balance to make the organ sound as good as possible. So I'm just going to navigate through these um, final bits of road and I will see you in the cathedral in a very short jiffy. Apologies for the mask, because um, one of the requirements of coming into the cathedral is to wear one of these. I hope you can hear me okay. What a wonderful space. What an absolutely wonderful space this is. Every time I come here, I always, I'm always reminded how spacious and, um, and vast this nave is. It's really high wide and feels very clean you know this, this ceiling was actually only recently refurbished was repainted and remodeled and I guess they did quite a bit of work as well around the side and it does look just it looks fantastic I really think that if you're in the area if you're in Surrey it's only, it's not far from London. You know, it's not far from London at all. You really must come to Guildford. It's stunning. Anyway, let's, let's just have a walk down the nave. So here is the organ. There it is. That's a, a single piece of wood, I believe. That runs across the front there. And the choir stalls are there. The positive division is there, or the choir division. And the organ console is just up on the top here. And we'll go up there shortly. Let's just have a look around the corner, shall we? 
Oh, I love this cathedral. I love this cathedral so much. It's so beautiful. It's also very, very friendly indeed. It's a really um, welcoming and warm place. So a bit different to Truro, I'm going to have the direct microphones, the front microphones, closer to the organ to bring a wider, more clear sound into the mix. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the positive division. If I had the microphone stand around about here, um, obviously going about eight feet in the air, it would also bring that stereo sound into the mix, a really clear yet unobtrusive sound on the left and the right. Over on the left down here, I'm going to have the diffuse microphones and the ambient microphones there in the nave. It's a really wonderful space. And there is the organ console. When I got home, I realized that this particular video didn't have the microphone turned on. So I've no idea what I'm saying right here. I'm doing a voiceover. I'm probably saying something about it. I'm looking forward to setting it all up and um, let's get cracking. I finally got the microphones in place. I've actually got eight microphones um, wired up right now. And I think, this is actually before we've done any sound tests, I think this should result in a really clear sound. The acoustic in this nave is really, really amazing. I have to just excuse the, um, I'm not a singer, but listen to this acoustic. Quite a long echo, isn't it? So, how are we going to capture the echo? How are we going to capture the acoustic in here? Well, let's start at the back with the TLM 170s. So, I've got two of these, as usual. Um, these will pick up, he's picking up a, an omnidirectional sound. That's a 360 degree sound field. It will capture the sound coming, bouncing back. On and whirling around in this wonderful space in the nave, but of course it will also capture the sound coming straight towards it from the front. If you look where the organ pipes are in relation to this um, right-hand side omnidirectional, you'll get a very clear sound from the front, similarly with the one on the left as well, but you'll also get all of the all of the um, the space and the sound around as well. And I can't wait to hear what the organ sounds like. Richard's coming in about an hour's time. Actually, it's about 45 minutes now. So I've got time actually just to uh, tweak these microphones myself before he gets here. And then we'll have some final sound tests. Moving forwards in the sound field, we have these uh, middle microphones here. Let's call these the diffuse microphones. So these ones are the 184s, Neumann, and these are going to capture the organ from a distance. Here, right, so we've got the, the right in the center of the organ pipes, but at a distance like that. And also the choir division over there should be picked up from the right hand microphone which is, which is um, true to the, um, the actual sound in the building. You will hear the choir coming from that direction. So I want to try and maximize that stereo field as well. And of course, then the front microphones on the main organ are fairly close indeed. So here we are with them. These Manfrotto microphone stands are tremendous right in the middle of the organ case. And I won't be using um, those microphones in great sort of volume. They'll be turned down and I'll, I'll be using the diffuse ones the most, I think. But the front ones will bring the, the clarity to the sound field as well. And the, the reason I've put them close to the microphones, sorry, the microphones close to the pipes is because I want to try to capture the, the width of the organ as well as the acoustic. 
I've actually also got some microphone stands on the choir division and I've put those uh, microphones in front of the choir division itself. I've actually come without my other tall microphone stand so I'm having to use a standard one um, and angle the microphones pointing upwards. That should be fine though. So fairly close, fairly close to them. Um, not, a, not ridiculously close. But again, they'll just bring clarity and width to the stereo field. Using the two front ones, so the choir division uh, microphones and the front ones on the main organ, in conjunction with the, uh, the diffuse ones over there and the ambient ones in the nave, should, fingers crossed, bring a really nice, clear balance to this. Um, wonderful acoustic and a wonderful organ. Now I've put the microphones in place, I need to head up to the organ loft and get the cameras set up before Richard arrives. So let's zoom upstairs. <laughs> in the organ loft of Guildford Cathedral. What a wonderful console this is indeed. Beautiful light wood. Most cathedral organs tend to be quite darker than this actually. This has a lovely light feeling about it. Let's turn it on. Let's just, um, Richard Moore is going to give a demonstration very soon on the organ, but I'll just give you a very quick chord in a moment. We have the over the shoulder camera here, that's the wide uh, angle Lumix GH5. We have a pedal, can you see that? Pedal come down there as usual. And then this camera that I'm talking into right now will be used to, um, uh, for Richard's own talking. And I'll put that up by this fellow here. <laughs> okay, so let's just, this is actually the first time that I've played the organ uh, with the microphones on. So let's make sure the sound levels are good. The way to do that is to play simply a a chord as loudly as possible to make sure it doesn't distort. So let's go for uh, great and pedal eight, full swell, um, positive. Those are the stops right behind me. Um, oh, let's have uh, let's have the tuba. Why not? Let's be really naughty. Um, so positive on great, everything on the great. Um, uh, everything on the pedal, I don't know where they are, there they are, pedal, 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 pedal. So, let's just see what a big chord of D major sounds like. Hopefully it won't distort. Are you ready? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Right, so I think I'm actually done now. To show you, look, look at this view. Isn't that just wonderful? All these um, seats are here for the choir. The choir are currently rehearsing in this space during COVID, unfortunately. They would normally be singing in these choir stalls here. Um, but alas, actually, what it has meant, there were fewer chairs in the nave and that has amplified the acoustic, actually. It feels like we're in St. Paul's Cathedral with a really resonant echo. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off now from this video. I'm going to record Richard in any moment time. I'm very, very excited. Um, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>